Guardians of the Galaxy 3, man. <laughs> now, I rank Guardians of the Galaxy, the original, one of the top Marvel movies, period. That's, that's me. People be disagreeing, but that movie has always been top notch. Three? I skipped two. Two, two. I probably need to watch it again. Two, two ain't do too much, but I'm talking about other movies too long. Three. Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh my fucking goodness. Damn. And they put. <laughs> Damn. You know they're getting us ready for the future Marvel movies because they done used fucking the jump once. I'm like, damn, they trying, they, they getting you ready for the vibe, man. But that movie great. That movie great. From the beginning, uh, <laughs> the character they have for Adam Warlock is perfect because Adam Warlock is not a serious nigga at all. He, he's not. He came in his own. He, he could he get damage done. He, he'd get some damage done like he's a powerful motherfucker but he like a joke character and shit for real but he had his little serious mo that movie oh my goodness man so he came in he came in there and uh looking for rocket fuck rocket up and they try to heal rocket with a little med pack but um it put that motherfucker into a coma and shit man or a seizure or whatever so the whole movie is about you know getting shit done to heal rocket and it, it gives Rock his backstory throughout the whole film. And his his backstory is fucking amazing. It's tragic as shit. It's, it's so fucking good. You know, they, they love to throw backstories, you know, for uh in the beginning. Like the very and it's like, yo, you don't get his backstory till the third movie this deep into Marvel. Like, that shit is that shit is good. It's, it's, you know, he basically, but you already know, he he's not a regular raccoon. He is a raccoon, but, like, he had all the surgery done and all the, all the shit, all the shit get done to him. And it looked like he was awake during all that shit, you know. So, dude that was, dude that was, that did that, the rocket, he the main villain. I, don't, I forgot his name, dude in purple who looked like Robocop. And they even referenced Robocop in the joint. They knew, they knew we knew he looked like Robocop. They knew it. They fucking knew it. Because Peter Quill started talking shit about him. He calls him Robocop looking son of a bitch. Man, I ain't even talking about the movie. I'm just talking, I'm just praising the joke. Man, that shit good. It's, it's funny. Serious when it need to be. Um, You got, I don't forgot too many characters' names, man. But you got the, the, the uh, Yondu, side, Yondu's, uh, you know, step down. Yondu's side, sidekick or whatever. He, he got his... Uh, Ooh, I can't even whistle. He got that Joe. He trying to get. He trying to get right with that. You know, he suck at the beginning. They got a, a dog that talked through the collar or whatever with a space suit on. Remind me of the dog and um up. And uh, damn man, this movie is just too good. I need. Mean, I should. I should wait before I made this review. Can't even. I can't even. Order, I can't even go over the movie. But yeah, so Rocky gets fucked up. They um. They they basically figure out where they need to go, which is towards the dude who sent Adam Warlock for Rocket. Adam Warlock go back and you see how the dude is way more powerful than Adam Warlock and, and Adam Warlock's mom and shit. So he basically claims he wants to make a, a a perfect a perfect universe, a perfect world and shit. So he does fucking he just fucks with animals and shit because he wants to make them perfect. So you know he made Rocket like extra smart, but his whole thing with Rocket, as you see through Rocket's backstory, is he don't like how Rocket is smarter than him. There was something he couldn't do with the animals and shit that was making um he the like he would fucking progress animals to like years and years so that they can fucking basically be human like and talk and but they were always aggressive and he couldn't figure out why they was aggressive. So when Rocket was fucking in the room watching the progression, that nigga looked at some shit on the machine and just, boom, figured that shit out. And then he was like, hmm. And it worked. So once it worked, he was pissed. And Rocket had his little other animal friends that was getting, you know, fucked with and shit. And uh, basically, they was, they was giving you Rocket's backstory throughout the movie. Like, as Rocket was passed out, it was basically like, 
you know, your life flashed before your eyes. And that was the part of his life flashing before him as he was dying. Is he had like, they couldn't do no surgery on him until they got uh, a passcode on some little shit they had on his heart that the dude had implanted on his own. So they had to get, they had, that's why they had to go, go up to get him. But whatever, man. So they going through Rocket's backstory and shit. And, um, he got his friends, and you know he, he he's getting close with his friends. They all locked up, getting worked on, and shit like that. And then you know he, after the uh the the dude um, is telling Rocket, you know they was gonna go live on the counter Earth and shit, where they was gonna put the creatures that once he could figure out how to make the creatures calm and shit. But once Rocket figured it out, he was like, motherfucker, you not going nowhere, and you too smart to be going over there and just living with these motherfuckers, like. Look at you. You a fucking abomination. So then he's like, he's telling the people like, yo, we working on his brain tomorrow. Kill his motherfucking friends, dog. Man, Rocket figure out a little way to get 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 out the uh, room because he's a genius or whatever. So he saved one of them and, and his man's, man's purple Robocop motherfucker, he shoot him. And then he like, yeah, we going we gonna to kill the rest of these motherfuckers. And he, uh, Rocket just go off on him, dog. He go off. Scratch his whole face up. I'm guessing he was a normal human at this time and shit. Cause now he got all these powers and shit. Like he, the, uh, the dude that was beside Thanos that could just move shit with his hands or whatever. So Rocky scratched his whole face off, bad, bad, son. So that's why he looked like RoboCop because they got the, you know, the metal back here. They just, yeah, he he fucked them up. Then he stepped off. He picked the gun up, man. He was like, I ain't fucking with none of y'all. So in the gunfight, his other two animal friends died. So he got the shit and he got the fuck out of there, man. So dude is basically wants Rocket, but I don't even, I don't know, I don't know why he, I think he want Rocket just to hurt him. I don't think he wants his help no more. He either just wants to hurt him for like embarrassing him and fucking his face up and all that shit. But so they end up on the counter earth and, uh, Man, Drax, this I done skipped so much. There's so much shit in that movie. You got Drax relationship with um I don't forgot. I I'm, it's it's late, man. Blue Blue Young it, but um I forgot her name. But Gamora comes back. You know, uh Gamora's like not relationship with Quill and that that shit is all funny. All that shit is 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 comedy. It's sad because, you know, he still love that young ass. She like, man, get the fuck up off me, man. Get up out of here with that shit, boy. You ain't you ain't, ain't the same bitch that, that you thought you was, you was fucking with, man. This is me. You need to leave that shit with whoever. She ain't fucking with Peter, man. But oh, throughout, throughout the film, you can see she fucks with him and shit. She's a ravager now and all that shit, man. So, um, <sighs> fuck, man. Fuck. They go they go from ship to ship to planet. They end up on counter earth. They go to they go to uh purple dude ship, you know, fighting. It's a bunch of different fights and shit, man. I can't even you know, I'm I'm doing terrible right now, man. This shit was so good. That's all I can say is it was good. I can't even explain to y'all what the fuck was going on, man. But yeah, man, so they get they get to uh they get to counter earth and it's just like a bunch of it's like a motherfucking um it's like a cat in a hat book, man. <laughs> like everything, like the Horton here is a who and all the who villain is as it was the book where it's um it's a I've got a thing and he's got a thing of jig. I forgot what the what the name of that uh Dr. Seuss book is when it's just all the and all the different types of peoples and shit and he's like, Yeah, he's got eleven yellow things and then all that whatever child's book that is, that's what that's what this place was. But um once he thought that his his man's captured, uh, captured uh, what's his name? Captured Rocket from the ship because Rocket's just been on the ship the whole time when they've been going around. And Drax and uh, Mantis was supposed to be watching them, but they was like, "Nah, we gonna go help Peter because you know they don't fucking listen." And he's like, "Peter don't expect me to listen. That's why he told me to stay. He know I'm gonna come when just in time." So he left. Gamora was on the ship because she's trying to leave. She uh kind of like showed them. She kind of led the led the uh, motherfuckers to the ship because she was trying to get the fuck up out of there. She called the Ravagers and shit, but it wasn't the Ravager because Ravager got caught and fucking um. <laughs> they had Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock was a fucking comedian in that show, man. They was like, yeah, uh, dude, uh, Adam Warlock mom was like, yeah, show show this captured Ravager. We mean business. He was like, okay, 
burnt that motherfucker to a crisp. She's like, how are we going to get anything from him now? He's like, I mean, at least he know we mean business. <laughs> motherfucker was dead, son. Like, come on. That shit was funny, son. But um, Adam Warlock was like technically a bad guy, but his mom ended up getting blown up because... Once he once uh he thought he captured his man captured rocket he just was like nigga we gonna fix this place because it it was like regular Earth man you know you go you go by the corners drug deals people fighting all that shit and that's why he's like yeah I'm I'm about to create a new one maybe that's why he wanted rocket to to help him make the species you know more more perfect better and shit so his he was like we blowing this shit up once he heard he had rocket they blowing counter Earth up shit just blowing up everywhere Gamora sees shit blowing up. Motherfucking the whole planet blowing up. Everybody got to get off, get off the planet, man. So, um, Drax and them end up jumping to the the big ship of the purple dude that uh, Quill and them was on. Quill and them jumped the fuck off. Quill jumped the fuck off that ship, and they on the ship looking for him. And Quill go, and nobody know where nobody at. Uh, Gamora's on the uh, the other ship with the. Uh, I think Adam Warlock came back on that zone, but he was fucked up because he got caught in the bomb trying to save his mom. So uh, eventually they all get up together, fight dudes, shit, shit, shit go bad, shit go, shit go left. The more fights and shit, they get the ships together. Nobody know where they at. Then everybody ends up at the same place. Purple dude gets his ass whooped down the motherfucking line. Like it's a bunch of shit, man. It's a bunch of shit. Rocket end up getting saved because they uh. They get what they need from the from one of the uh from they get what they need from the dude who had the passcode and shit, man. Shit, shit, you know, you know shit gonna end up good, but like damn man, the band breaks up at the end. Uh Peter Peter go wanna go see his grandpa. Nebula, I remember her name, and uh Drax. They stay they stay in the land, they wanna fix the fix the land up, make sure you know all the captured kids from the purple dude is good and, and Rocket make sure they save the animals because you know he's an animal and he remembered his past and shit. But that shit that shit sad, man. It make you tear up a little bit. It ain't make me tear. I don't be tearing up, but I, I know what'll make a motherfucker tear up, and that's the movie that's going that movie was fucking great. That was that's that's what Marvel needed, man. Damn. I gotta see that shit again soon. Soon, man. Shit was shit was amazing. Groot, Groot just keep getting bigger, man. Groot is a big motherfucker. Groot is a big motherfucker, and all this I am Groot shit. Uh, first of all, uh, the new the new Gamora was like, I know you're Groot, but then everybody else would, would respond to him like with full sentences. They like, there's no way y'all are fucking with me, basically. And <laughs> they was like. You'll get it. And then at the end of the movie, Groot said something to her and she responded and she looks she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> because she understood the motherfucker, son. That Groot shit be funny, man. But then, you know, once Peter leaves, Rock is the new, uh, the leader. Rock is the new leader. His backstory is like that, man. Y'all gonna love that shit. But Rock is the new leader. Um, he's with the dog and the new Yondu. Cause uh, Yandu ends up his man's finally end up using that flute at the end of the movie to fuck shit up, but he not blue, so it's, it ain't the same. Yandu, Yandu is a fucking great ass character. This dude's like a, a comedic motherfucker and shit, so he got the whistle though. So we'll see, man. But Star Lord, you know he'll come back at the end credits. You know they say he'll be back. I don't know what they gonna do with Gamora or whatever, but I thought I was hearing this was the last one, but it ain't make it seem like this movie was good as fuck. Oh yeah, but they gonna be in um uh Kang shit. Damn this shit was good, man. I I probably gotta get this shit a 10, but I gotta watch it again and I need to I need to settle down and like think. Think, man. Think. <laughs> this movie was great. <laughs>